This is Norla. One winner and many losers. This is more than just a race. It's a battle for something big. Oh yeah, we're ready. I'm American made but a large Chevrolet. My mama taught me wrong from right. I was born in the South, sometimes I have a big mouth when I see something that I don't like. I gotta say it. The Daytona 500, a race that everyone, and I mean everyone, has circled on their list of tracks to win at. If you win at this track, your name will forever be etched in history here in Norla. 42 drivers will do battle here at the Daytona International Speedway, but of course only one can come away a Daytona 500 champion. James Bowles, he's one of the drivers in this field, he's trying to go for his second Daytona 500 win. Eli Bright, he has a chance to do it three times, never been done, so some history can be made here today. Or perhaps we'll get someone new win, a rookie perhaps, we'll just have to go down there to trackside and find out. And speaking of trackside, is we're going to try and get you down there to the commands for the start of the Daytona 500. Drivers, Darcher Engines! And the engines have been fired up down there on pit road. Christian Russell, winner of duel number one, he'll start on the pole next to him. Winner of duel number two, um, uh, Dylan Young in the 33. Both cards were really fast in their respective duels. Dylan Young, he shows some serious speed here um, at Daytona. It was really quick in the practices. And of course, he starts on the outside pole. Behind him, Dylan Abrahamian in the two going for I believe his first Daytona 500. Um, and you also have to the outside of them the 47. That's the Mills Motorsports of Owen Finley. Behind them the 9 of Sam and Oskin. You also have, I believe that is the 20 right there next to him. And you guys can just see for yourself where you start. That's actually the 19 up there um, next to Sam and Oskin. 19 this season driven by Tim Randolph once again. The 60. Of Marcus Yepes Lawson in the 38 for um, Fitzwater Australia Racing. He has a really good starting position to 42. He's also up there as well of Roberto Crown Jr., another rookie here in the Cup Series. Um, that guy's like uh, the 8 is also up here, starting somewhat towards the front. Ryan Darnell. This is a home track for Ryan Darnell. He'll be going for <laughs> this race is a pretty big deal for him, so. He'll be going hard at it. Jay Jefferson, Tony Green was really quick in practice as well. Uh, guys like Cameron Cole got 14 James Bowles, as I mentioned. He starts right next to or right behind Zachary Fitzwater Sr. James Bowles in 16, by the way, the most winningest driver. Andy Cups here is Nick Smith. He's had a tough speed week. Jacob Halt, uh, along with his teammate William Brock, all starting in the rear due to um, crashes during the um, duel. So here we go. Christian Russell. Dylan Young on the front row. It's time to go green once again for the Daytona 500. And we will experience a bit of lag just at the beginning, just a little bit, but not too much. But as they go down into one and two, Christian Russell in the 77 leads. Dylan Abrahamian, he's right there the outside. Did not get a good start. Owen Finley. Already dry, dropped back at least three car lengths right there. The 33 of Dylan Young. No help on the outside, but he's so quick, as I've mentioned. 
Looking him down the back stretch by himself, trying to go around the outside of Christian Russell. Oh, Russell getting a little bit sideways and loose right in the corner. He's going to move up now to the inside. As the two of Dylan Abrahamian, as lap one of the season here is going to go to the 33 of Dylan Young around the outside. How about that speed from Dylan Young? As he's trying to clear the two of Abrahamian. And in the back already, we've had some guys we know that plan to stay in the back for most of the race until it is go time. So you already see a couple guys back there dropping back. But Dylan Young around the outside clears for the race lead in that 33. That's that flying development single car team, of course, in um in contracts or whatever, however you say, with um, flying racing. That is part of that team, just an extension. And Dylan Young, he comes around and leads another lap here at Daytona. The 42, Roberta Crown Jr. up to second. How about Jonathan Lawson in the 38 up to third? But he's going to get pushed to the outside now by the 60 of Marcus Yepes. 17 is also there. Marcus Sachi. he's trying to make it three wide for third. Marcus Sachi is going to have help from the 99. Another one of those single car teams right there. Athens Racing with Jacob Athens. It's already three by three throughout the pack. The 20 has also made his way to the front. Max Anderson as they exit quarter number four. Dylan Young once again leads, but he's going to have Roberto Crown Jr. to his inside. Crown Jr. trying to lead here in the Daytona 500. He goes side by side with your race leader. Dylan Young, he is still yet to win here in the Cup Series. Drove the 26 last season for his own team, joins Flying Racing, or Flying Development, rather, here for the 2021 season. 20, Max Anderson now getting a big push from Jay Jefferson in a 48. Jefferson trying to put that 48 back in victory lane in the 500. Last person to do it in that car was James Bowles. Ooh, guys getting a little bit squirrely as they... Looks like most everyone is contempt to stay on the inside, but Dylan Young, he is just so strong as he's on the outside with no help, by the way. Oh, car down to the apron. I believe that is a 10 of Malik Nevins. Nevins really slow on the track. I think he's just he got sideways. That may have scared him right there. He's going to stay into the go towards the back. So he's maybe getting too, maybe getting a bit uncomfortable up front ahead of him. These guys are all three by three still. Led by Dylan Young, who was actually able to clear the 42 once again. As Dylan Young, he's gonna lead out of four. As they come back down to the Oh, we got a crash! Big crash in the trioval. Car into the catch fence. Up and over. Marcus Yepes, Zane Davidson. The 23. The, your uh, Xfinity Series winner also upside down. Big crash. Will, uh, William Brock collected. Zane Davidson on his roof. Diego Yepes collected. Jonathan Lawson collected. A whole lot of drivers. Nick Smith in the four. He's smoking. And he has Matt Green behind him. The rookie. The 62 with heavy rear end damage. The 41, I believe, Juan Garcia was collected. And the caution flag is out. A huge, huge wreck in the trioval once again and out front is Dylan Young and the big one is gonna strike early here at Daytona once again and it's gonna take out a lot of these guys I'm not sure what happened I saw the 23 was the first car around oh looks like someone I believe that is Jeff or uh, no I believe that's Eli Bright in the 24 he went down and got into the 23 and oh man big hit for Marcus Lopez rear end into the catch fence shearing off the rear end of that car and that's the second car this speed weeks to go into that catch fence right there oh man and a massive hit right there that's that's the seven who got into the um back of zane davidson dallas carpentier in the 62 he was collected heavy rain damage for him another look at it here is um well we already saw the contact there and i believe it was eli bright you have to get a better look at it right there oh and finley in the 48 he gets collected as well james Bowles he gets rear-ended by Juan Garcia, look at the 60, Marcus Yepes up and over. And William Brock, these guys just come flying in with all the debris and stuff on the track. 
Tough break for Tyson Gifford. Won the Xfinity Series race and ooh, big hit by um, the 36 into the 7. Another look at it real time here. We're going to see. Oh, yeah. Eli Bright, he just. I'm not sure what happened. And he actually got through that. And your pair's just flying. Oh, man. These guys just came flying into the crash. All that debris. We saw. We see the smoke from the tires. Going to ride on board here with Eli Bright. It's going to be interesting. Clear up, you need it. Clear up, you need it. Yeah, Eli Bright just he just went down and got into the 23. And we're hearing his, spot, his spotter was saying it's uh, clear low and Bright just went low, got into the 23, and that started that big mess right there. And Christian Russell he gets collected, started on the pole, and he gets pinned up against against the outside wall. A little bit more damage as he gets into. Evans, but wow, the big one strikes early at Daytona, and it's going to take out a ton, and I mean a ton of drivers as under the red flag, we'll try to get it cleaned up. Welcome back here to Daytona as the red flag has been lifted and everything has been cleaned up after a huge incident. All drivers have been checked and released from the infield care center. Everyone is all right, and man, this list is going to take out a ton. 25 drivers. Of the 42 that started this race is out and Eli Bright he's actually still in this thing after making evasive action and he came over the radio he said his spotter said he was clear and he really is still on bright because he wasn't paying attention to 23 was there and it looked like the inside lane may have checked up too as well and it was just really bad timing when his when his crew chief said he was clear he was clear to go low, but then the inside line checked up a bit, and as he was going low, that happened, and chain reaction took out a lot of drivers. A lot of drivers who had really good cars, a lot of guys who were even hanging in the back, trying not to get collected, and still, they run over the debris and just couldn't turn and couldn't slow down in time. And there's Eli Bright right there in the 24, came over the radio and apologized, blames that wreck entirely on himself, and... Oh boy, so anyways, back to the live action here. Jake Jefferson in the 48 is out front. And, um, oh, the three car going down pit road. That is Aaron Lewis. Jefferson continues to lead. He has uh, Cody Goforth behind him, Max Anderson. A lot of these guys is racing, um, a lot of these guys who race in the trucks and Xfinity race there. They feel a whole lot better coming into this race because of, of course, the news from um, Abby Jacobs being okay, alive and alert after that gruesome wreck she had at the, in the truck race here. As here comes Max Anderson now down to the inside, push from Zachary Fitzwater Sr., your defending champion. He would love to get a Daytona 500 win, second, the second most um, winningest driver here in the Cup Series, right behind James Bowles, and that's another goal Fitzwater has is to beat James Bowles. James Bowles, I believe, has 18 wins here in the Cup Series. 18 or 19. You know how Fitzwater's at 11. Fitzwater's last win coming at Texas last season. I believe he had three wins, if I'm not mistaken, Lex, last season. is Tony Green, he was able to get through that crash. He's and you really found speed around the the field. Just nice and smooth here. He's right there battling side by side with the uh, 78 of Cameron Cole. Outside. Young checking up a bit, a bit on the outside is, oh, they cut up to the three. The three, Baron Lewis really slow, and he had just got out of um, pit road on this uh, this past lap. Already we're having to deal with lap traffic here. Remember, it did not go too well in the trucks where it's going to race. Guys were not happy with the lap traffic, and there's nowhere to go for Aaron Lewis. He's going to hold up Cody Goforth, Cam Cole, Marcus Sachi. All those guys are going to get held up. As they go flying down a backstretch, Jesse Turner in the 43, another car that made it through. Fitzwater, as he's out front with the 52. How about 52 Henley? Aren't you running um, really uh, really well right now? P2, ran really well in the duels. That 52, they have a really fast car. This Christian Russell right there, 21 to 14, all those guys collected in that incident. And... Just unfortunate for the rest of the guys who retired out of the race. Not even 10 laps in, and that big incident. I'm pretty sure a lot of guys are going to have something to say to Eli Bright after this race. 
and all these other guys they're off pace the only thing they can hope for is that everybody else wrecks and then everyone becomes slow or some miracle i don't know but remember they do have to make pit stops they cannot make it all the way on fuel if we go green so they'll need to do pit stops and i'm sure we'll see people take uh tires and whatnot as fitzwater continues to lead fitzwater he's no stranger to super speedways he has won multiple times at talladega just never at daytona and he would love to change that here today a lot of the rookies trying to make them make a name for themselves there's a 24 Eli Bright, Inside. right there was teammate Jay Jefferson. Inside. Inside. Still there. A whole lot of Chevys is up here. One inside. See the Toyota right there, Max Anderson. Anderson who uh, won out there at uh, Homestead, the final race. That whole team had a win last season. All Out Racing had all their drivers win. I know Tim Randolph, you won out there at uh, at the Taylor Swift Superdome, what is now Dodge Raceway Stadium. Um, we had the 11, I believe. With I believe Alexander Rowe drove the 11 last season. He won at Atlanta. Max Anderson, of course, winning um, Homestead. And William Brock, multiple wins. He won at Watkins Glen. I believe he also won... Chicago land I know it was a couple races as Fitz Warner continues to lead this pretty big pack of cars about 11 or 12 guys still in this thing so still plenty of opportunities guys who have not won a 500 yet is James Bowles in a 16 he doesn't even have a rear end and he's up here running with these guys that may that damage may just give him an error and advantage here and of course you know it's it's completely legal because it's not his fault they got damaged they just have to take some things off and make sure the car doesn't make you know make sure the car runs well so that is completely fine so james Bowles, if what a thing it would be if he could win the 500 his second 500 in a damaged car like that that is never i don't think we've had anyone win in a car as damaged as that before this water right now in the 34 looking really really well Now there goes a 48 to his inside. All these other guys who are really slow, and I'm sure they're disappointed they won't be up there to win. Like I said, unless by some miracle. Eli Bright won this race um, last season. I believe he had some damage, just not as severe as James Balls right now. Is he going to get put into the middle? Question is, when will these guys have to come down pit road? We know it's within the next 10 laps, so these guys, the team's already getting ready on pit road. Now, will they take two tires? Will they go with four? Will it just be fuel? We know tire wear isn't that big at Daytona, so we may see a lot of guys going for just right sides or maybe no tires at all. But we'll probably see some of these other guys get four tires. They're probably betting on another yellow, so... Really, these guys can do whatever for this first pit stop. Uh, pit stop. I believe they'll have to make two. This Fitzwater to the outside now. Three wide for the race lead there. Three by three again. Eli Bright. Ooh. Oh, is that it? That whole wreck. He's currently running. Um, He's the first car on that inside right there in the 24. He has his teammate Sam and Austin behind him. Dylan Young is back on the inside of 52 of Henley. Jesse Turner is also up here in the 43. Turner returning to that number 43. That it's a new team here to the Cup Series as Turner drove the 43 in the National or in the Xfinity Series. Got his first one out there at Bristol and decided to go with that number again. Turner, he's the last car in this uh, lead pack on the inside right there for his own race team, Lake, uh, Lake Effect Autosport. But we're going to take a quick commercial break here in this Daytona 500. Things are looking real steady right now. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be back. Welcome back here to the Daytona 500. Remember, after Daytona Speed Weeks, we'll return here again for the road course. 
version of this track. Pit stops are underway. As you can see, a couple guys have already been serviced. They're not coming out of pit road. Here's a race leader. Zachary Fitzwater Sr. is on pit road. Jacob Hull, Dylan Young. Uh, Luke Martin in the 96. He's also going down pit road. A couple guys coming out of pit road. You have the 99 of Jacob Athens right there. Max Anderson in the 20. And it's going to be interesting to see. There's Dylan Young. He's right there with Jesse Turner. It's going to be interesting to see where these guys come out. There's Tony Green. He's, he had a stellar pit stop. He's right there ahead of Cody Goforth in the 37. Goforth with a pretty big run. Holy cow. I believe Tony Green just came out of pit road. Oh, big block right there by Tony Green. Close call. I think these guys really should just drive together and see where they line up with everyone else. There's James Bowles with Turner. Oh, man, close call right there. Jake Jefferson nearly slamming into Christian Russell right there. Russell, he's been upset pretty much the entire race after getting into that um that first yellow. He's just been not happy over the radio as these guys, I believe, these three are going to be your leader as Tony Green. Yeah, these three are going to be your leaders as Tony Green takes the, the lead right there and Cody Goforth, he's looking really quick right now as he goes down to the inside of Tony Green. And I or him, I wouldn't really drag race right now. Maybe doing it so Fitzwater can catch up to them. And they're doing this without, you know, slowing down a whole ton. 21 coming out of pit row. Then there's everyone else. Oh, got to be careful merging here. Trevor Collins. All right, there. And one thing I did forget to mention is halfway there will be a competition yellow. And we're about at the halfway mark now, so the yellow flag will be called on this lap as we wait for them to cross the start finish line. And all these other it will give these all um all the rest of these guys a chance to group back up as there's a yellow flag. About pa a little past the halfway mark here as they wanted pit stops to finish cycling, but I believe it will be Cody Goforth in the 37 that will lead as they're going to race it back to the start finish line, actually. Pretty was in the 12 was about to go a lap down, it looks like. It's what it looks like he wants to make a move on Tony, uh, Tony Green, but it's not going to happen. It's Cody Goforth is going to lead the them. Call yellow the flag. flag. Competition yellow here. About at the halfway mark of the race. Give these has a chance to group up once again and look over you know teams looking over their charts and s try to figure out a strategy a strategy for the rest of the way here at Daytona so I'm not sure anyone will anyone else will go back down pit road but anything could happen here at Daytona I'm gonna take a quick break after our competition yellow and we'll be back to the action Welcome here back ladies and gentlemen to the day 2500 getting set to go back green with just about 20 laps to go 25 cars remaining on the track only 22 are on the lead lap That's car on the lead lap being the three of Aaron Lewis as it's the one out front um, They did go down pit road again Cody Goforth. He's gonna lose about three spots down there on pit road So they never hit me and he's the last car in the top 10 Three lap cars in the inside. How will they get around them? It's time to find out as we go back green with 20 laps of racing left in the great American race. Tony Green leads the way on the uh, once again. He gets a he got a real good run right there. Dylan Young to the inside of Zachary Fitzwater Sr. I'd look out for that 33 at the end of this thing as the 21, however. Trevor Collins, he's holding up the 77, not someone you want to hold up right now, considering Christian Russell is not happy over the radio. Oh, he's going to hold him up again. The 21, Collins, he's going to stay to the inside. James Bowles in the 16, trying to go around the outside. Doesn't look like he had the speed, and as this is happening, these guys up here, these five guys are kind of getting away from that. Remember, some of these guys pitted, others did stay out, and... I'm not sure if those guys who stayed out will be able to make it all the way on fuel. So we may see one more pit stop here for everybody, actually. 
So I don't think these guys are worrying too much. But still, you want to be up there with the lead pack as, you know, pit stops loom. Glad Bright now getting held up by Christian Russell. Remember, Russell, he too is also slow. He has damage from that incident. And they're still trying to get by him. Russell will not get out of the way. Is He is, I believe he's on the lead lap. Is I don't think he's on the lead lap, actually. And the way the penalties work here, you have one lap to get out of the way of the lead cars, the lead lap cars. And you see right there, he moves to the outside. As these five guys, they kind of got away from everyone else, led by Cody Goforth. Go forth, the winner of the truck race under not the circumstances he wanted. Um, got involved in the Xfinity Series crash um, in the big one. Also, that was um, early in the race. Is Jefferson. Other Jefferson. Does J, uh, Jay Jefferson, he's currently running second. Fitzwater third. Dylan Young side by side with the one of Tony Green for fourth. These guys... If they stay single file long enough, I'm sure they'll escape from everyone else behind them because those guys are side by side. Yeah, right here, Roberto Crown Jr., Dylan Abrahimi, and all those guys are side by side. Then you have a couple of slow cars right here, and Eli Bright, he got held up just a bit, looks like, by Aaron Lewis. I thought the caution lights were on for a bit. That would have that'd been, that'd have changed a lot. There's Russell, he's there finally able to clear him right there. Is he gonna go side by side for second? As last time that second pack back there was 1.7, almost two seconds behind. We'll see where it is now. Two seconds. So these guys, as hard as they're racing, they're so fast, they're actually pulling a gap on these guys right here. They need to stay single foul. Roberto Crown Jr. looking like he wants to make a move. There's Henley. He's making a move underneath Cam Cole. And this bigger pack right here, full of guys who weren't even involved in that first yellow. I believe it's a mixture of both. Guys with a little bit of damage and then guys with no damage. You saw Sam and Oscar right there. He, he's probably going to have to back up to that pack that's right behind him. And these guys, they've broken up the single file just a little bit. Well, uh... Will it shrink the distance? No, it actually gained once again. By quite a bit. As this, there's a 14. He's just now exiting four. If this thing goes green all the way, they may catch him. And there they go. Single foul. Spotters and teams are telling them, hey, stay single foul. You guys are getting away from the pack behind you. That leaves less uh, less competition near the end of this thing. But remember, pit stops still have to be made. One more pit stop still has to be made. So I don't think these guys really even care much about that right now. I mean, after they pit, then yes, they single file. But right now, they're just out there racing. And these guys, they know to catch everyone else, they're going to have to stay single file. So you see them right now, single file. And these guys, they need to do a better job of staying single file as well. Cody Goforth continues to lead over to 33. Once again, 14 just exiting four. They're down a backstretch right now, halfway. And they're single foul once again. Now these guys are single foul too. And now since this is a really critical part of the race, coming to about 10 to go pretty soon, you don't want to mess up pit stops. You don't want to get caught speeding. Uh, you don't want to get, you don't want to make any contact on pit road with anyone. And most importantly, you don't want to get left out of the draft. Well, I guess damage will be the most important thing not to get, but Cody Goforth, he continues to lead the way over Dylan Young. These guys are moving around the track trying to find a quick line. Dylan Young actually just, he, um, he ran his fastest lap of the race about two laps ago, just getting that report. When will these guys pit? We're hearing they have about six laps of fuel left in those cars some have a little bit more after pitting Cody go for it who will he pit with 11 laps to go at the line and their single foul still Jay Jefferson he needs to make sure he doesn't lose these guys he's looking like he's laying back a little bit Cody go for it last season 
was one of the dominant cars in that 22 winning multiple races I believe he had he scored four wins last season one of his goals he says this season is to win in all three series he and a few other drivers um, will be running every race one car going that pit road that's Tony Green in a one he dips down a pit road so Tony Green that is a strange call he pits by himself where will that put him see all these guys just single file now they know what needs to be done they, there's Tony Green he's on pit road looks like they're gonna get two right side tires will they go for the left nope just right side tires and fuel and they're off of pit road now go to go forth will they come in this time how do you doubt it can say oh there goes the 34 and um I'm not even sure who that was or uh Dylan Young yeah Dylan Young and Jackie Fitzwater senior 33 and 34 down pit road go forth and Jefferson they're gonna stay out there's Roberto Crown Jr. Henley Abrahamian Cam Cole how about the run by Cam Cole in that 78 top five or top ten right now as well as Henley in the 52 they're having a really good run new teams Athens in the 99 he too is having a pretty good run there's Tony Green who's just come out of pit road these two have still yet to pit when will they make their way down a pit road it's about eight laps to go this time by they're still gonna stay out will anyone from these packs go down pit road nope everyone so far staying out another lap I think Jefferson are, is gonna wait to um he's probably gonna pit with the 37 because 37 really quick right now Dylan Young I thought he would at least pit with Goforth as well because those guys have been really quick as long as, as uh, well as uh, Fitzwater senior there he is right behind the 21 he's actually getting held up that's not what Fitzwater needs right now he's getting held up by Trevor Collins Still not singling the go down pit road. Connors was told to get out of the way. He's going to go down pit road. He's going to bring it down a pit road. Marcus Sachi in the 70 or in the 17. He peels off the track going down pit road. There's Fitzwater. There's Russell. Where will these guys line up? That is really what I'm curious about right now. As they've kind of pitted separate from each other. Deadly Young. A little bit of block on Cody go forth right there. That is actually a really smart move. You want to slow down that 37 as much as possible because he still has to pit. The 48 is right there as well. Go forth to the inside. Will he come down? Nope. They're going to stay out again. Go forth. They're stretching it. Even though there's really no need to. There's a two. He can't make it any longer. He's going to go down pit road. Yeah, it's crunch time now. Coming to five to go next time. Bye. I don't think the 37 can make it all the way on fuel. Maybe they can't remember. They did pit last um, during that last caution, that competition yellow, on lap 27. I want you to come around and pit this time. Be careful getting on the pit road. Don't They're you? either right there at the fuel window right now, or they can just about make it. We'll have to see what happens. There's Sachi. He's just coming out of pit road. He kind of he's going to hold up Sam and Austin. He moves out of the way now. Oh, and there goes Cody Goforth. They're going down pit road. Jefferson is going to follow and everyone else behind him now coming down pit road. And this right here is the definition of a money stop. You cannot mess this up. Else you miss out on a chance to win the Daytona 500. Go forth. He's in right there. He's going to get right sides it looks like. I'm surprised anyone's getting tires right now. And he's just going to get right side tires. A splash of fuel and he's already done and out. Cam Cole, he's there. There's a 48. He's right there. He too is going to get out, but not really that quick of a stop for uh, Jay Jefferson. And go forth. He's clears out of pit road. As well as a 48, but go forth. He's going to be. Um, I wonder where everyone else is. Is I don't see anyone else coming. Uh, there they are now, just coming out of the tri oval. Looks like they might catch a uh, catch. Go forth here, as we'll see. There's Eli Bryant and um, Luke Martin in the 96. Actually, where is Goforth? 
Oh, there. He's right there already going down into corner number uh, three. She's right behind the 22. 22 a lap car. Alexander Rowe. Rowe's going to be really slow. Will he let a fellow race car driver by? He will. He's going to get out of the way of the race leader. And the thing is, though, Goforth is kind of by himself as well as the 48. So that's going to allow these guys. We got a wreck in the back. Christian Russell goes around. Oh, Eli Bright hard into the back of the 78. Cam Cole. There's a caution. Caution that's is going to be out. That's going to be it. That is going to be it. Cody go forth in the 37. Coming to three laps to go. That's going to be it. Cody go forth. He's your current race leader. And I thought he was going to be a sitting duck because he doesn't have anyone to draft with. Cody go forth out of the final corner. He's going to take the yellow here. Uh, caution, caution. Caution's out for the second, or the third time, rather. Oh, man, wow. I was not Here's expecting another yellow with under five laps to go. Cody Goforth takes the yellow. It was a very, very impressive run, brother. Great job. Yes, you got and they're all the way down here the 24, the, uh, Eli Bright, heavy damage. I'm going to go back and see right here. Oh, Cam Cole. Takes out Christian Russell in the 77. Wow. I don't know what to... Oh, and man, and then Eli Bright was going so fast. 77 just came down across the track in front of him, and he just rear-ends him right there completely. Another look at it here. Um, Maybe the 77 went up. That looked like the 77 may have went up. Big hit right there. I think, I'm not sure. We're going to have to go on board here with Cam Cole. Yeah, Christian Russell just went up right in front of him. He was not clear. Then the big hit right there right, sends him into the outside wall again. There better be some real fucking problem out there. Oh, yeah, Cam Cole is not happy, but wow, we'll be right back. Welcome here back to the Daytona 500 uh, for the NOLA Cup Series as that last yellow, it ended the race. We will not have enough time to go back green. Cody, go forth. As long as he doesn't signal to go down pit road, as long as he um, crosses the start finish line, as of course it's not official till that happens, but it's looking pretty darn good right now for Cody, go forth in the 37. Four cup wins coming up, uh, leading up here to today. He won the truck race. Couldn't get it done in the Xfinity Series. But Cody Goforth, one of the most winningest drivers from I'm last season, on. is a Daytona 500 nice winner. Job, boys. You give me a spot next to that girl with the blue feathers on down there. That is just astonishing i would really was not expecting that late race yellow wow cody go forth in his fifth career win is a daytona 500 winner jay jefferson he's gonna get second fitzwater senior third for the defending champion tony green and dylan young your top five the rest of your top five Crown Jr., Henley Turner, Ebrahimian, Luke Martin running out your top 10. Cam Cole, Marcus Sachi right outside the top 10. And Cam Cole, that Daytona 500 top 10 is not going to happen after that wreck. Eli Bright ended up 25th. Um, Jefferson, Russell, Collins, and Alexander Rowe were all a lap down. Pretty shy the last corner lead lap. And then everyone else wrecked out. Yepes, Vargas, all those guys in the back. But Cody go forth. His fifth career win comes... You cannot keep a good team down. Awesome job, boys. Awesome job. It comes in the Daytona 500 as we haven't seen a burnout in the grass in a while. Wow. A stellar job by the 37. We know he, he was fast pretty much all day, and that pit stop may have been just what won him this race. But even so, he's been really quick all day long. Stayed up front. Him and um, Fitzwater's led the most laps today. And 
after going out pit road they got right sides and just about flit up the fuel just enough to make a run at the end and then they didn't even need it but congratulations to Goldie Goforth he is your winner here in the Daytona 500 congrats to him See, you're gonna party tonight that's for sure but what a way to start the season Cody go forth he wins the first race of the season and he'll try to repeat this as we'll be back here for the Daytona uh, road course so that's gonna be it thank you guys for watching sorry these races were kind of all over the place but I'm glad I was able to get them up and it's finally time to get the rest of the season started the Daytona road course is next for the core Xfinity series as well as the cup series the trucks will see them out there at Atlanta Cody Goforth, he's a winner in the Daytona 500.